Hi, Rosie Banyas with the Department of Neighborhood Empowerment. I represent um, the Glassell Park Neighborhood Council with the Dunn Office. I believe this was on the agenda because of what occurred in the May 15th board meeting, which I was absent due to an illness. Um, so there were various new communications that occurred afterwards to clarify what is the Brown Act with the city attorney's office and our office and the board members. And the reason for that is because we want to be clear on you know, what occurred because we've heard from various sources of what occurred and we just want to make sure that the board, our executive board, is clear on what the responsibilities are when um, people are videotaping a meeting. And I think it was noted that it's, it's a right, you know, it's a public. Um, any stakeholder can come in and videotape or record or, or even take pictures of a board meeting. It is their personal property and that's basically, you know, what we wanted to inform the board about. Um, it's also in, I know the board has also been going through a new board orientation training and this is one of the issues that, you know, given the notebook is about three inches thick, there are numerous documents that they're still reading and the Brown Act is one of them. And I believe um, Peter King, who's our city, the city attorney that represents the board, also identified what part, what section of the Brown Act where it's required that you know you can you, that the the videotaping photography is allowed. You can't stop this, this situation, um, and that it's you know it's a right for these stakeholders to do that. And I believe it was section. You need to the board must understand this. We are under the Brown Act. So please consider your positions and your actions when making decisions. Thank you, Rose. Any other questions for Rose with regard to the Brown Act matter?